so we're going to demonstrate two things right now. We're going to demonstrate how to import a door and put a door into the wall and also how to rotate. So step number one, let's go get a door. I'm going to choose a red door. And thank you to whoever Shimmy is. So I can either download the model here or click to take a look at it and then download the model. Yes, I do want to put it right directly in. And now I have a door. Now the problem is my door is facing the wrong direction. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase my little landing pad that I had there. So this door that's right here, there it is in blue, I want to rotate it. So here's my rotate button. And on the top, you'll notice I get your green circle, which rotates it one way, blue, which rotates it one way, and red, which rotates it one way. And sometimes you could even get black. So I want blue. I'm going to click somewhere on top. That's my first click. And now the blue circle kind of spins around as I move my mouse. I'm going to click somewhere else outside of that circle just to kind of give it a frame of reference. It makes it easier for me to see. Click one time. That's my second click. And now as I move my mouse, you can see that it rotates around. I want to rotate this 180 degrees. Some of you might want to type in 90 if you only want to go 90 or just click for 90. I'm going to do 180 and press enter. So there it's moved. And now mine actually has a step to it. So I'm going to move it based on the purple point, which is right about here. And I can move stuff around. Now, where in the wall do I want it to go? Well, if I take a look, I actually want it to go right about there. So I'm going to draw a rectangle on the wall for where I want this to go roughly. Somewhere in there. But you can see here that if I do this, that when I go to do my push-pull, I actually end up colliding with this wall over here. So I didn't do a very good job. So I'll redraw my rectangle. Okay. So I'll do it more like this this time. And now I'm going to collide. No, that's not going to work. So maybe I'll just do a really skinny rectangle and push-pull that back until it gets glitchy. So there's my hole, and then I'm just going to push the inside open like that. And maybe I'll do the same thing with the top edge, just push that up. Oops, Control Z. Let's try this again, push that up. There we go. So now I've got a nice big opening. And with that nice big opening, I'm going to move from that point right there at the bottom of the door over to the edge of the floor and once I've got that now I can just zoom in and pull the walls closed around it and once it snaps to the edge you can see how that gets done okay see how the purple works and then from here I'm just push pull this part down Oops, too far. Try that again. All right. So now there's my door. There's my step, which you don't really need a step. I was just kind of showing you how they did that. I used the purple points to line them up. And my door goes right through my wall. So that's an easy way of how to insert it based on the purple point in the bottom corner when I use the move tool.